Hey guys, Pokepixel here with a quick little video. So in front of me, I have Discord open. In fact, I have two Discords open. This is because I want to test out Discord's noise suppression system called CRISP. I've watched Linus Tech Tips video on the RTX voice technology and it was super impressive just how well it worked and how much noise I managed to get rid of and it still managed to keep Alex's voice intact. You know, the disadvantage of that, of course, is you need an RTX graphics card. I don't have any graphics card, I'm running on integrated graphics. So being able to use this noise suppression system on potentially any single device, that would be huge. So in today's video, I want to find out just how well it works. I'm going to put it through its paces. Um, probably not as extreme as Alex's video, but you know, we'll see. All right, so here is the kind of base test. Um, it's just me speaking into the microphone, into Discord, you know, directly without using any sort of noise suppression. The reason I'm doing this test is because, as you guys will see in just a second, when you turn on noise suppression, your audio does start to get a bit distorted, I would say. It sounds a bit more muffled. It doesn't sound as high quality. It kind of sounds like you're using a cheaper microphone. This, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, it's a price to pay for the noise suppression system. So maybe if you're in a quiet environment, you shouldn't turn on noise suppression because it would just kind of muffle your audio. I'm still, under, you know, you can still understand what I'm saying, it's just not as good. All right, for the second test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Notepad and I'm going to keep talking whilst I'm typing, and then I'm going to stop talking and continue to type. So as I have learned, typing and talking is actually quite difficult. But you guys should get the hint on the audio while I am typing on my I made a lot of sparing mistakes there. I can't type and talk. I can barely type as is. But now I'm going to turn on noise suppression and do the same thing. All right. So now I am typing with the noise suppression turned on. I still can't. Hopefully, get the hint. I am. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not doing great. All right, so I think it passed that test with flying colors, but let's just let's just keep going. Let's uh, bring in the big boy. Now I hear that it is quite common for people to be playing an online game, say for example, COD or Fortnite or whatever, and you know you'll be playing with some twelve-year-old kid, and then their mum will come into their room and start hoovering. So the next test is a hoover test. This is my audio whilst the hoover is on. The hoover is actually quite close to me. I have to raise my voice for obvious reasons. Um, I should still be understandable, but the audio should be a bit annoying to listen to. Now, here it is again, but this time I have no suppression turned on. Now, what you should hear is that I'm sharing for no reason, because actually you can't really hear the hoover. That's really impressive. You know, it's a loud noise that is just removing. And, you know, just for a little bit of fun, let's start typing as well. Because, you know, I'm, I'm playing games right now. I'm honing some noobs. Uh, my mom's hoovering my room. You know, I've got my nice eraser mechanical keyboard. Don't know if you can hear anything. But there we are. All right, so this next test is pretty stupid and probably won't work, but here I've got my PS4 Pro. And the PS4 Pro, it's a pretty loud console. I think we all know that. And it gets loud at the weirdest moments. Here, for example, I'm looking at the Call of Duty Modern Warfare store. Why does it get loud when you on a menu element? No idea. But yeah, Pro Enhanced games are very loud, like make the console very loud, whilst normal PS4 games are, you know, this is very, very quiet. But anyway, I don't know if you'll be able to pick up the PS4 as is without noise suppression, but I'm gonna hope for the best. And now I'm just gonna turn on noise suppression. And I'm hoping that, you know, any sort of noise that the PS4 might have been making, you know, you can't hear anymore if the microphone was sensitive enough to pick it up in the first place. <laughs> So for this next test, what I'm basically doing is just making my electricity bill go through the roof. I've got the hairdryer on and I've got the vacuum cleaner on or the hoover, whatever. I'm going to turn on the expression. You should hopefully not be able to hear 
the hairdryer, or the Hoover. I'm going to go ahead and continue to the next test because I don't want my electricity bill to skyrocket. Okay, so for this next test, I'm just going to be doing the keyboard test again, but doing it on a laptop keyboard. I am just going to start typing. I am doing slightly better currently than I was with the mechanical or keyboard, but still not great. It's nowhere near as loud. But now I have turned on noise suppression and you shouldn't be hearing the keyboard or the fan if you could hear the fan in the first place. Cool. So for this next test, what I want to do is I want to play music in the background and I want to see if it will uh, get rid of the music. Play Break Free. Break Free by Bondra D from Spotify. It worked! So here I am talking in front of my favorite royalty free song. This is one of those songs that like, it's royalty free. So, you know, you sh it shouldn't be good. It should just be something you put on in like in the background of your video or maybe like in a commercial or something. But it's actually something that I like listening to. It's a decent song. Right now, noise suppression is on. The song has gone a bit louder since the previous segment. But I'm I'm actually really excited to see what kind of results I'll get because I haven't actually tried this test yet. And obviously when I'm not speaking, you shouldn't be hearing anything anyway. Now this will be an interesting test because there is another, you know, there's vocals from the song coming in whilst I'm speaking. So that might actually end up coming through the mic. And just in case you don't believe me, here is no expression turned off whilst the singer is singing. Test one, two, three. Test. Now, just for the fun of it, I've turned up really loud. Like, I wouldn't. This, like, high level of loud. I wouldn't listen to music like this. But again, no suppression is now on. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear the songs. I don't know anything, but I know one thing. I'm gonna turn on the hair dry as well. You know, I'm going out. Uh, listening to going out music, doing my hair, talk to friends on Discord. That's something people do, maybe. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the video there before it gets a bit too silly. I've done all the tests I wanted to know. Um, for example, can it block out constant sound like a Hoover, hair dryer, computer fan, a console fan? Can it block out keyboard noise? Because again, keyboards are very clicky. Um, and kind of block out music. That's what I wanted to know. And I can't comment on if it did well or not because I'd have to watch back the video. But from my test that I've done earlier on um, in the month, it's like Crisp is actually very competent, which is very good. And obviously, you know, this doesn't use an expensive graphics card. This can be done on any computer. So even if it's not as good as RTX Voice, the fact you can do it on anything makes this pretty incredible. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I hope I see you guys in the next one.